I'm Kevin Cameron, and in front of me, I'm looking fondly upon uh, the crankshaft from our CBR 600RR. And this is another example of how inanimate, unvocal engine parts can tell a story. Here's the crankshaft. The way this crankshaft works in respect of lubrication is that oil comes up from the oil gallery below the crankshaft and it enters each bearing, each main bearing, through a drilling. But you'll notice one main bearing has no groove. The other four have grooves in the middle. If you had a crankshaft from the predecessor of this engine, the Honda Hurricane 600, all of its main bearings were grooveless. They looked just like this one. Why did they change? Well, the way this engine and the way most car engines get oil to the crank pins is they bleed it off of the main bearings. You'll see right here is a little plug that is staked in place. They drilled a hole at an angle down through the crank pin into this bearing. And that drill way conducts oil from this bearing up through this flywheel cheek into the hollow crank pin and it comes out through two holes to lubricate the rod bearing. That sounds like it makes excellent sense. But if this crankshaft is turning 14,000 RPM, we have to pump oil into the crankshaft against so-called centrifugal force to get it into the drilling that would carry it out here to the crank pin. Now, every manufacturer that has made high RPM engines has run into this same problem. They start seeing little problems with their connecting rod bearings. They develop black streaks. That's not metal to metal contact, but it's the next thing to it. When you see those black streaks, you think to yourself, not much margin there. So what the engineers did was first, they put a groove around the bearing shells all the way around each main bearing that fed a crank pin. This one doesn't feed a crank pin, so it has no groove. Just grooving the bearing shells evidently didn't work for them because they went a step further and they grooved the crankshaft itself. Now, engineers don't like to cut into crankshafts because They've already made the bearings as small as they can because they know that bearing friction is proportional to the diameter cubed. Double the diameter, get two times two times two, eight times more friction. They don't want eight times more friction. So they make these bearings as small as they can get away with and they don't like cutting grooves in them. But they have cut grooves here because evidently in order to get enough oil to the connecting rods to keep them looking as bright and shiny as they do in this engine, they needed not only to groove the bearing shells, but also to groove the journals themselves. So that's another example of parts that tell a story.